So I've been really enjoying playing around with these custom GPTs and I've got another one for you. I did release one of these before. This one right here, Topical Authority Generator, 4.7 thousand chats. So I can tell it's a popular one. A lot of people were asking me to update the Topical Authority GPT Generator. So here it is. So you can start by just writing your niche. I'm going to be doing classic menswear. Uh, I don't like explaining this in every video, but I feel like I have to. The reason I always do this niche is because I can look at a keyword and tell you if it's good or not without anything else. Okay, so the first thing this does, it creates your 20 pillar pages. So we've got history of classic menswear, iconic menswear pieces, menswear fabrics, tailoring techniques, menswear designers, suiting essentials, shirt styles and fits, classic footwear, accessorizing your in classic menswear, dress codes deciphered. This is a really important one. This is probably the most important one. Seasonal menswear guides, the business wardrobe, vintage menswear, casual classics, global influence on menswear, future of classic menswear, care and maintenance, formal attire, color and pattern in menswear, custom off the rack. So if we look at something like suit supply, no, not suit supply, sorry, suits expert. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get something like this. So they have their topics at the top. I'll tell you right now, these guys get probably 50 to 100,000 clicks every single month, if not more. They're a niche affiliate blog website. They have uh, affiliate links, et cetera, et cetera. I think they also have a shop, actually. They might not just be affiliates. Um, but we can see that they are pretty similar. So they only have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have eight topics on the top. We have a, a pick of 20. You can do further keyword research on these to see which would be the best to go into in more detail. Now I'm going to say, please, now, please give me the mega table. So the mega table is, it takes the first one, history of classic menswear, and it gives you 20 sub pillar pages. Uh, it takes the second one, et cetera, et cetera. So the end result is to have up to 400 um, potential pillar pages. Now, sometimes it'll do something like this. It'll try and skimp out. What I'm going to say is, please. Don't use placeholder content. Give me all of them. Use several generations. Okay, so we have Origins of the Suit. Good article. Revolution of Menswear post World War One. Maybe the Roaring Twenties and Menswear. This is a huge blog post. 1920s style is a massive blog post. Influence of Hollywood on menswear. Menswear during the Great Depression. Post war fashion and the new look. The birth of teenagers. Style, how the concept of teenagers changed menswear. Okay, 1960s and the mod movement. This is a really important one. 1980s is huge right now because of Stranger Things. Casual Fridays and the relaxation of dress codes. Influence of music genres on music. If you wrote all of these topics into, um, you could even you could do blogs or pillar pages. It doesn't actually really matter. You could have the blog category as history of classic menswear and then you can have these as 20 blog posts in that category or you can do pillar pages and sub pillar pages it's kind of at the end of the day it's the same thing so uh, iconic menswear pieces the evolution of the tuxedo you can see right here this is their own topic so obviously tuxedo is a big one trench coats are a big one these are all good these are all yeah good articles so this is 40 so far so now say now do the next two so what that will do now is it'll give you the next 40 pages and we'll have a look at a few more. So pillar pages, menswear class, menswear fabrics, wool, yes, cotton, yes, silk, yes, linen, yes, synthetics, yes, leather, yes, denim, cashmere. All of these are good um, if, if you are starting like a niche blog or magazine or something. All of these are good ideas. Camel hair. Uh, is a really obscure one, but also very good. Seersucker, another obscure one that has hundreds of thousands of searches per month. Let's have a look at tailoring techniques. Bespoke tailoring, made to measure versus off the rack. This is a really, really good topic. The art of the suit jacket, huge topic. Trouser construction, shirt tailoring essentials. Understanding suits, alterations. This would bring in a lot of traffic if it was done properly. Uh, hand stitching versus machine sewing. That's an interesting article that I've never even thought of. Pattern making for menswear, the importance of fabric grain. Yeah, these are all good as well. Now give me the next 20. Another thing you can do is if you already have some categories and you want more topics, you could also just say to it, um, I have this category that I'm thinking of. Can you give me some, can you use some different ones? 
Pillar Pages, menswear designers. Yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory, to be honest with you. Um, obviously, we sell some of these brands. Uh, if you're doing a if you're doing a niche affiliate website, these are the kind of brands that you would want on there. Kiton, beautiful. Brunello Cuccinelli. Just the fact that it's got those two makes me really, really happy and makes me think that this is a really good method of finding your pillar pages. So I'm actually going to try that. I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to skip forwards to dress codes just because I want to see what it comes up with for dress codes. So we'll, I want these two specifically because they are the two that would bring in the most traffic. We've got dress codes deciphered. So I'm just going to say, can you do these two? Uh, we'll see what it comes up with here because this is where the bulk of the traffic would be coming from. So yeah, black tie basics, white tie elegance, business professional, business casual, smart casual. If I had had this tool at the beginning of my um, like Italian menswear SEO career, it would have been a lot easier because I had to do a lot of this keyword research myself. You could even um, expand on this. You could say, give me another 20 on dress codes because these are all really, really good suggestions. So you're obviously going to want more. This alone, just these dress codes here, is probably a million searches per month, if not two to three million searches per month, just in the United States. Black tie basics, black tie attire has so many searches per month, it's insane. Spring essentials, summer style, autumn attire, winter wardrobe, rainy day menswear, that's an interesting one. Dressing for snowy conditions, tropical climate tips, this is a good one. Um, desert heat dressing, maybe a bit crazy. High altitude style, transitioning between seasons is a good one. Sun protection in style is a good one. Cold weather layering techniques. Holiday season looks, uh, probably needs to be split down a bit more. Resort wear for men, I have written this article and it did very, very well. It, I think it gets 10 to 20 clicks per day. Thermal wear, accessorizing for the weather. Footwear for every season. Fabric choices throughout the seasons. I'm actually going to write this article on two men because this is a really good suggestion and I haven't done it yet. And I've got a really, really good way to write those articles specifically. Overall, I would say just purely based on dress codes deciphered, the fact that it's come up with these keywords right here. If you take each of these keywords one by one and put them on Google Ads Keyword Planner, you'll be so surprised by the end result. You'll be blown away by how many people are searching for these keywords. Like business professional, it took me like a year and a half to find some of these keywords, but this topical authority generator has just, yeah, like I said, given me loads and loads of keywords. So the last thing I want to try is if I can think of my own topic. So let's just say colors. I'm going to say I already have. Can you give me 20 topics to fit it? I want to see if I already have a pillar page, if I can then use this to, and you can, perfect. Understanding color theory, the psycholo psychology of color, neutral palette mastery. This is a really good, I, I should actually really, I, I need to write this article. Bold colors in menswear, pastels in menswear, color matching for suits, seasonal color trends. These are all really, really good articles as well that would get a hell of a lot of clicks and that I haven't done on too many yet. That's going to be it, guys. As usual, you can find everything in the description. You can find the link to the custom GPT. And yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to make any other custom GPTs. I am very much enjoying it. I, should, I normally show this at the beginning of the videos, but as usual, it's not nothing. It took me like an hour to uh, improve this to the point where it does something even better than it did before. So I'll put this on everyone, confirm, and then you can, yeah, let me know what you think, guys, please. I'm really, really curious. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're a legend. Thank you so much. And yeah, please, if you have any more ideas for custom GPTs that you'd want to see uh, from me, let me know. I, it, It's kind of like a an interesting thing to work on right now. So I would love more opportunities. Some people are already giving me suggestions. So please do not be afraid to give me any more suggestions for custom GPTs, GPT assistance that you think will be interesting. I'm probably going to do an e-commerce version of the general content writer that I released the other day because I don't have an e-commerce version, but I do have my own way of writing e-commerce content right now anyway. But I will release the custom GPT commerce version as well, just because people are asking for it.
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support recently. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers, which has been a huge personal goal of mine since I started this channel. And yeah, that would be amazing. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.